Get the latest hey, issue of paper, public right? occurrences. You're 200 years old. Looking pretty good for your age, huh? I think it's over here. Yeah. The synthetic truth. Noodles. We all eat them. We all love them. And Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years. From the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's program Japanese, to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl, to the sealing, the scalding tang of each delicious mouthful, the ordering and eating of noodles is but one wit of many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night. Just after 5 p.m., enjoying a dinner I had so many times before, that's when I noticed our very own Mayor McDonough slidle up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles. The shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago, on an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 2229, as I sat around this very same counter. But that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles, when the bar served not noodles, but ice-cold Nuka-Colas, frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night, he facilitated the shared human experience of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are, ooh, among, among us, us. <laughs> who are even old enough to remember that evening. Although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have, had they not been forcibly removed thanks to Mayor McDonough's Dungeon Time! Mayor McDonough's anti-ghoul <laughs> decree of 2282. But there is one person among us who does remember distinctly the events of that evening. Respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story as in a public occurrences exclusive. Good news, everyone. I remembered my tank stance this time. Yay! <laughs> oh, You're welcome. Oh, I was there, all right. Sitting right at the bar, sure as you're sitting in front of me now. Twenty-two years old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall, we were all. So what was the harm? And let me tell you, that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west somewhere. It didn't really matter. Oh, Mr. Carter. Out west somewhere. I think I know who that is. But it's uh -oh. a bit of a spoiler to tell you. What did matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful until it wasn't. Eustace continued her account of that evening and the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about... Mr. Carter was revealed. Oh, no, he isn't who I thought he was. Okay. We'd been drinking and carrying on. Must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, but like the rest of us. Then something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face. All in an instant. And then his cheeks started twitching kind of funny. I remember watching him clear as it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then... Blam! He shot Henry the barman right in the head. He didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually as if he were paying him for a drink. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing, of course, is the infamous event known as the Broken Mask, when the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society. 
Unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City, the Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans. Since. After he shot Mr. Shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Carter, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. It seemed like they had killed the man who had flipped his lid. Gone crazy. And he lay there like a dead crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of the early synths, you see. And we realized that it wasn't a man at all. And then we all knew. The Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now. Among us. It was never it was never determined precisely why the sense known as Mr. Carter went on his killing spree. Some suggested that he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute, who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still, others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek, and was never meant to kill anyone. But at that time, the why hardly seemed important. What mattered was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery. Using a model of synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Which brings us to noodles. Specifically, the noodles consumed by Mayor McDonnell last Wednesday night, in the same spot that Mr. Carter the synths went haywire and mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours sharing an experience the people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race, they were wrong. Are we? Damn, that's some scandalous writing. Yeah, Bear McDonough is a synth. Nina Rodriguez. Hey, sweetie. A dad says not to talk to strangers. Bye. Hmm. Oh, oh wow. Pete Pember. Hi there. Hey there, mister. Can't Medium believe you clothes. Should stop by Ballard's basement. Open during the day. Yeah, it's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Dear God. Your friend. He's not a, you know, one of them super things, is he? I think of all the things to be in the post-apocalypse, Courier has got to be up there with one of the more interesting ones. And, just say yes. and I'd put that, I'd put journalist as being one of those interesting jobs, too. Yes. Oh, I forgot to enable a mod. Takahashi's supposed to have, like, a different hat on. Uh, Is he supposed to have, like, a paper hat? Like, um... No, he he's supposed to have uh, one of those headbands uh, that oh, ramen yeah. shop owners wear. Nice, uh, Maybe nice. I'll, I'll look about enabling next session. Yeah. Oh, I could really go for some noodles. I actually had some noodles today for lunch, and they were fucking amazing. Hmm. Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. There is an imposter among us. I should look for any Among Us based mods. Oh, my oh, I know there's one for New Vegas that's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. There's a mod that I think adds a whole new. Um, can we get started on my case? Oh, of course. Vault, There's just a small clip. Where I think you can, I think you, and I think it's like a multiplayer mod too. When you went out mm. to find him, but where you can play Among Us in a vault. A Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the. I got a. Hat, I got a fedora and a trench coat. One case at a time. I might nice. put those on. I also enabled a mod that lets me wear armor right, and cool clothes at the same time. So nice. That's awesome. Let me see. Invent apparel. Let's see. 
Uh, faded trench coat and worn fedora. Uh, Let's see. It. I have to turn yeah. off the armor, but yeah. Yeah. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the. What I think is interesting Tell me is that uh, no matter how there was a ghoul exodus from Diamond City by decree, mm -hmm. but not a synth one. Sean. 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 Although I guess Sean. perhaps maybe. Sean. Sean. You can't Sean. really decree that. Since should leave a should go away, um, a man and a woman when they're infiltrating like their spies. Say, it's like if I put a sign on my door that says no secret agents. Backup. So we're right. talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means though. What else can you tell me? Sean, Sean. My wife. Is <laughs> <laughs> so Murder. funny. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean and they. They just. It's okay. Sean. You don't need to say anything more. So You're not Sean! About a group of cold You're not Sean! Killers, but they waited until. <laughs> <someone> <laughs> to hey, to think you're Anything else you remember? <laughs> Sean! Sean. You're just a robot <laughs> programmed to think Sean. that you're real. That's a spoiler. He's less than a year old. <laughs> <laughs> Why would anyone take him? Good You're question. not Sean! Why are you a... You're not Sean! Why an infant? <laughs> a robot. Wait, where do I go from here? Hey, they think you're real. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Where is my son? Where is Sean? There's in the Commonwealth that take people. <laughs> Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And then, of course, there's the Institute. Who are the gunners? Who are the gunners? High end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Super mutants? What are they? What Big the fuck are you talking about? On muscle. In other words, hard to miss. How do you. <laughs> How is that even a question you can ask? There's a one standing right behind you. You gave him a gun. Everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs stripped whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. They call me a flayed anyway, one. I need to find Sean. Right. Sean. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. Sean. What these kidnappers look like. Sean. Mm. Describe out. Oh. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't. Well, that one went oh, a little bit smoother. I didn't hear the name. Kellogg nice. All, you, did you level up again? Uh, I think I did. I, I don't. I didn't at the end, but I think I did like midway through. Sean, who is nice. it? Do you think he has Sean? Sean, way too big of a coincidence. <laughs> Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for. It's fucked up. There's a guy named Kellogg in no this game. Who his mm -hmm. is. And he bought a house here. Just think about cereal every time he comes he up. Kid with him. I there's a mod that uh just replaces him with a big box of cornflakes. I thought about installing it, but I decided against it. Sean. Oh god. Sean. 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 It's Sean. It has to be. 
somehow. Don't Sean. jump the gun on me. You said you were looking for an infant, remember? That's over nine years difference by my count. Where is my Look, son? Maybe he has a son of Where his is own. Sean? Maybe it's someone else's kid. Sean. Either way, they both vanished a while back. Sean! Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security Sean. doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Sean? Hmm. You've really gone through a lot, haven't you? Oh, I, I get it. Uh -huh. Ooh, monster. There we go. I got a video Ooh. game. Yeah, RP walk, baby. My friends say outside is smell. But you don't smell at all. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a <laughs> Thanks, kid. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. The only question is why? Why would you take a baby? Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this open. I think Valentine can pick locks. Oh, fuck yeah. Heck of a lock. Got something to hide, Kellogg? Why don't you give it a try? Damn it, Kellogg. Damn it, Master Valentine. Key. This is the lock picking lawyer, and wow. God. I'm gonna grab something to drink real quick. See you in a second. Yeah. I will also be right back. Hey there, listener. It's just me. It's just Argyle. I guess I'm here while I wait for the other two jackasses to, you know... I've, I've been very quiet. I'm focusing a lot on Final Fantasy. I know that not a, probably, probably not a lot of people are watching this, but I appreciate it if you do, even though I'm not all that involved in it, and it really wouldn't make much of a difference to me either way if it was recorded or not. But, uh, hello. How, I hope you're doing alright, and I hope life is treating you well. Uh, I am still playing Final Fantasy, so, you know, I'm pretty focused on that. Sorry! I heard something. What's up? Hmm? No, no, nothing. I was just talking to the, the viewer. Okay. <laughs> I'll leave it in. I should not disturb this cr Oh! NCR money. What? I think that's modded in. Oh, okay. Damn. Normally he doesn't have that. He is from the NCR, as we will soon find out. But... Hmm. Check out that desk. Check out that desk. Ah. Well, that's one way to hide room it's got our guy you still here San Francisco yeah what's up beer, my my uh, I, I was thinking about it because I was listening to the new Fugio bonus episodes 
And you're not on episode two. I wanted to know what you thought of Too Fast, Too Furious. I don't watch it. That's why I wasn't on the fucking episode. What? <laughs> Come on. You haven't, but you're, but you, you said in the first episode that the reason why you wanted to do the series. Is I'll so watch them eventually. <laughs> I'll watch them eventually. But goddamn, I had work that day, and I just, you know, I've been playing Final Fantasy. So shut up. <laughs> I, I'm not judging you. I'm just asking if you'd, if, if you'd seen it yet. It's synth detective, jackass. If you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Joking aside, but what about dog meat? Commonwealth Whoa, like holy shit. Track Oops. a man sent for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out... Uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Uh, I want you on. I want you with me on this, Nick. And I'm gonna send Strong to Avernathy Farm. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. I'm gonna grab Rocket strong. Boring. Human should fight more. Strong, go with human. We need to swap some gear. Strong can carry more than puny humans. Let's see. I just need to take the junk. I, it looks like it's all armor and weapons, so I think yeah. I'll actually leave them with him. Oh, he's got a time bomb and a locked <laughs> duckville bag. Interesting. Uh, it? It's NCR money. Hmm. It's not particularly valuable in a completely different part of the world. Yeah. Look at this stash. Yeah. Uh, Strong boys. Strong want to kill something. Party iguana. Ooh, Sunset Vesperilla. Nice. Take a cherry. Gas canister. Pork and beans. Orange mentats. Hmm. Uh, pork and beans. Instamash. I want to make sure I take all my pork and beans and smash and cram. Because I can use those to make caravan lunches. Which I can hmm. do thanks to a mod. Nice. All right. I'm just going to keep looting. Oh my god, he has a star bottle cap. Beautiful. Lucas Sims is going to run all all the way over from Nevada to tell me. <laughs> of a oh my god, if he if he actually it gets modded in because of that cap, oh my I I laugh so. That would be so really good. funny. I don't think he's gonna do it. Well, I wish. <laughs> God, you're a little now. You're a little far away, but if you collect enough of those caps, there's a real cool thing waiting for you. <clears throat> I remember hunting for those caps. I was like, I mean, it was like 25 away from getting however many I needed, and I just spent a whole evening just looking for them. Using a guide. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it was the only thing I used the guide for during my Get first playthrough. Take me to him, boy. Take me to Sean. Sean! Sean! Sean. I like that the voices Sean? are spot kind of a match. <laughs> Sean. Sean! Sean! Shoot people, in, sir. My dad says outside is shoot people. Kid, you're bothering me. Let's 
So this is going to lead into the end of the first act of this game. Hmm. This game has acts? Yeah, it's got three acts and a post game. Uh, first act is when you confront Kellogg. Second act is when you finally find Sean. And third act is uh, picking which determined. faction you want to lead you to victory. Kind of almost, you know, structurally, this does feel like a poor man's New Vegas. Hmm. Oh. Well. Hmm. Yeah, they can't all be winners. Oh, I was just noticing the uh, notification sound. I was hoping I'd that wouldn't show up. Uh, but it happened. Mm. Search for clues. Let's see. We've got another San Francisco sunlight. San Francisco sunlights. And a dirty ashtray. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Sean. Oh, these things. Lovely. That's the line grunt brought me to the next level. Beautiful. Holy cannoli. Mm. Uh, uh, this is going to be tough. So, uh, let's see. Oh, no, wait. It's obvious. I got to take intelligence so I can get the next point. So I can get science and build more stuff in my settlements. Hell yeah. Uh, dog meat. Like another one of Kellogg's pit stops. Keep your eyes open. What's Lots that? of blood here. Dog meat could track Kellogg if he took a wound too. Took out the targeting computer with one bullet. This guy's a crack shot. <laughs> Not sure if they were trying to pin him down or had terrible aim. Big bullets. Kellogg's preferred caliber. Lost the scent boy. Looks like this one thought he'd get away. No such luck. Torn up by his own turret. Dog meat's gonna need more to go on. It's a clue. Not enough. Bloody mm. bandages. Dog meat can track this. That nose is second to none. We gotta stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
This is kind of a neat quest. Yeah. Whoa. Actually, let me see if I can now, pacify. Now. It's okay. Don't move. It's all right. Oh, it worked. Holy shit. You commune with animals? Good dog. I forgot about oh. that skill I took. This dog's normal. Yeah. I gotta remember to do that more with animals. Can you do that with death claws? That'd be funny. Um, I think there's a there's a perk that does let you do it on like wasteland monsters that don't count as animals, but it's pretty mm. high ranking. Mm -hmm. oh. It's the it's the Chris Pratt Jurassic Park mod. Or perk. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's a Yaogwai. Oh, wait, he counts too. That didn't work. Oh, boy. Well, that was a nasty hit. Plan B. Holy shit. Oh, and some Rust Devils showed up. I don't think those were part of the mod. I think they just showed up. Son of the bitch. What? Okay. He what looked like a mailbox. He looked like a mailbox that was flying towards you for a second. <laughs> oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, shit. Let's see. Stimpak. Uh... The healing powder of soda, which isn't, uh, steak. That's good. Oh, oh no! It wasn't enough. That was your last meal, and then just destroyed. Mm -hmm. Damn. God, hopefully you don't. Okay, it's not too far back. Yeah. Lift me up the mole rats. I gotta listen to my character talk about stuff, but. <laughs> Took out the targeting computer with one bullet. This guy's a crack shot. Lots of blood here. Dog meat could track Kellogg if he took a wound too. Torn up by his own turret. Hmm. Not sure if they were trying to pin him down or had terrible aim. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Looks like this one thought he'd get away. No such luck. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. One of my favorite um, Fallout pieces of con content is um, the challenge run. It's okay. Um, I saw a couple. Don't there's a couple of really good challenge run YouTube right. channels, Don't but uh, my favorite right. one is Nerbit. Um, he did a challenge run recently, which was can you beat Fallout 4 using only the pipe pistol with no upgrades? Mm-hmm. And yeah, that was uh that was a pretty rough one. There's also one where he beat Fallout New Vegas with the BB gun. Mm -hmm. Just some really banana stuff going on there. Oh, and and my favorite ever challenge run, can you beat Fallout New Vegas using only the pocket sand technique? 
All right, New Vegas does have the pocket sand technique. Yep. Don't move. It's all right. Oh, damn! It worked. Nice. But hey. dog meat still wants blood. Oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. None of these do take more damage, so I'll just go. Well, I'll go for the head. I... Mm, I'll go Maybe for the, the left arm. arm? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Nice. That's the ticket with those guys. Destroy their oh, oh, man. Holy that shit. That just wiped me out. Just <laughs> instant, instantly vaporized. You had basically full health. Mm -hmm. And just, just wiped. Damn. I gotta do that all over again. Oh boy. Maybe save after you show them the bloody bandages. Mm hmm. Just to save yourself some time. Yeah. I'll save it after I deal with the mongrel dogs. Hmm, yeah. They'll be easy to deal with and Took out the more of a nuisance if I keep bullet. dying. This guy's a crack yeah. shot. Big bullets. Kellogg's preferred Big caliber. Bullets. Lots of blood here. Dogmeat could track Kellogg if he took a wound too. Torn up by his own turret. Hmm. Not sure if they were trying to pin him down or had terrible aim. Lost the scent boy. Bloody bandages. Dogmeat Dog can track this. Again. Looks like this one thought he'd get away. No such luck. All right. Good dog. No pacification this time. Yeah. Don't move. It's all right. All right. Here come the rust devils, I think. Or not. Maybe dog meat's just gonna go, keep going, and we'll fight the rust devils later. I see them in the. That, that was a guy. I don't. Hmm. hmm. You sure it wasn't the um, Maybe... the flame guy? Because he's kind of human. I'm sure. I'm sure. He was moving like a person. Uh, huh. Robots have different run cycles, even the ones that are humanoid shaped. Hmm. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. I gotta search for clues. Below. Uh, Somebody yeah. snuck up on here. Nope. 
nobody's used this recently. A decoy, huh? Clever. Mm. Except people don't normally have <laughs> bases on their feet. You're pretty good. So my question is, is what if Dogmeat wasn't your companion here? How would you Oh no, Dogmeat Dogmeat shows up even if he's not your companion for this one. Oh I see. Interesting. Oh nice. Ooh. Oh, I remember this track. <laughs> I should put on the radio. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I'm not going to put on Spooky Scary because it's way too loud. I'll mm. put on Cunnel Rad. Yeah. I love this track. <laughs> Why? Oh, now Connell Rat's not look working. Damn. Are any of the? Oh, there we go. Bodyguard robots didn't fare too well. Not sure who started it. But this traitor never stood a chance. All he had on him was bubble was bubble gum and doesn't look like a robbery. <laughs> Fifty caps just gotten in his way. This didn't do any good for them, did it? Alert. Critical signs. What have we here? Critical signs. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> Is he supposed to be clipping like that or this Oh no, his head's removed. I see. Oh boy. Still on track. Hopefully, he's not much further. Damn. It's kind of grim. Yeah. Just leaving it there. I wish I could just take that head. <laughs> put it somewhere. On your belt. <laughs> Stop right there. Now, now. It's okay. Nice. That one didn't. Oh, go. damn it. The alpha resisted. Well. Dogmeat's pathing is a little a little odd, but mm -hmm. it's fine. It's a Bethesda game, he's an animal, he is perfect at mountain climbing. Yeah. You know, I heard an interesting like sort of like reason as to why we haven't seen New Vegas 
uh, remastered. Mm -hmm. Um, I think somebody explained that it was because of the engine and the version of the engine that it was built on, and it's the same reason why we haven't seen like an Oblivion remaster. What do you think, boy? Was because it's man? built on a system that's just too old to be properly upgraded, so it would have to be rebuilt essentially. I think this here is the building that Kellogg's in. Hmm. If there are turrets on it, then... Oh, shit. Then we've got a... No, wait, it's that one right there. Ah. I don't think we're alone. Oh. Good shot. <laughs> nice. Fort Hagen. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? And you dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. I'm just taking a moment to stretch my arms. I. I think I've got it. I think I've got my keyboard too, too far from the edge of the desk. Mm. Uh, there we go. I don't need no carpal tunnel. Yeah, yeah. On top of, on top of all the other problems in the world, carpal tunnel is the last thing we need. It, yeah, my chair, um, the chair that I normally sit in at my desk is like pretty low, so I my wrist is, my wrist has to bend in order to like use the mouse on the desk because the because of the height of the desk but i really like to get like an ergonomic chair and key, mouse and keyboard set up the screens are at good heights so that i'm not like hunched over but you know ergonomics is is so important mm -hmm. i cannot stress Gotta find an entrance right here. Hmm. Do I have the quest mark? Yes. Also loot hey, this one. Hey, uh, like some good news? That's great. 